So I'm picking up where I left off on part one, and this is part two. So I was having issues with the head, and I couldn't figure out why those issues were occurring. So <clears throat> what I'm going to do now is show you how to get the hands to work properly since we couldn't figure out why the head was going to work. So save this as head. Now we see the hands. What is this? That's the ear. those are completely redundant so what we want to do is get these hands aligned properly with the texture and now we have the hands to work I'm taking I'm getting the feeling that I didn't include a certain particular model and that's why we having these issues because <clears throat> I can't really figure out why it's happening with the head because this is not the actual head model or texture for this head model because no matter how I try to align it I mean this part looks correct but it seems like I need another model for this to actually work the way it's supposed to. I mean, but for the sake of the tutorial, and, and these are the eyes, so you would just find the model and try to link it up with the texture or find the part of the mesh that is selected and try to link it with its texture So we're going to try to fix this, even though I don't believe this is the right texture. I want to unselect so we can select individual vertexes or vertices. Take off that, which is snap. You don't want it to snap. And we're going to try to get this as close as possible as we can. <laughs> you don't have to do this for every model. This is a rare occasion because this texture is not working right so we're going to try to make it work as good as we can
This is the mouth. So, all right. May not be the correct texture, but I'm going to try my best to get this to work correctly. So, say this was the texture we wanted to use. We got it all together now. Of course, the ears. Well, we're not going to worry about that. So, say this was the texture we are using. So, we got everything now the model or the mesh is textured so now we want to make sure that the normals appear so for this model in particular I mean this texture we want to flatten image and you got to make sure you have NVIDIA tools normal map filter and I usually just call this norm for these we don't have to do that because they have the normal maps already So I just say this is upper norm lower norm Control shift U to make it black and white and this will be the spectacular texture. And the 
same for this. So we'll go back. Material editor. Go to the norm. Which one is this? So this is head. Put this to the exact same thing or the exact same settings I'm using. Let's click this little eyedrop tool, select the background and get that color. Be sure to use blend shape for the head. That's only for the head. And the skin color, you will want it to be the same. Or just make it black. And that's for the that's only for the head. You don't have to do it for any other part. So, okay, after we do that. Do this same process. Upper norm zero include spec. mouse zero norm now that that is all done time to export So make a folder where you're going to export everything. And this will take some time depending on how Hi Polly, the Molly. How, depending on how high Polly the model is, will estimate how much time it's going to take for you to export it. Okay, once it's complete, I'm gonna open open four. I'm gonna open two instances of this and for me I've already have a archive created. So what you will want to do is Go to File, Create Archive, GTA Image Archive, find the location, you will save, and yes, after doing that you will go to New, Import, Open Formats, 
find where you exported that select OK and over here what you will want to do is go to models CD image component pad since we're doing a pad edit mode yes and control E to export this to where you've exported this from 3D Max this is changing it to the WDDD format or extension then you're gonna click the green plus select that go to search type in prison to make you know it easier to find it go to my prison WTD this is for the textures and let's see we're going to delete most of these textures since we're not using them all So for the spec, what you want to do is go to where you save all your textures. In this case, I save mine in the same location. That's lower. and just basically try to match everything go to save now let's go check and see how it did and finally we're gonna test to make sure that everything is rigged properly make sure that the enveloping went as planned 